Hello, it's me, your friendly neighborhood theater teacher, ready to talk to you about doing a play review because you're going to watch a production of a play. If you've read the instructions already on Schoology, then you know this. Uh, you're going to watch a production of the play Hairspray. I apologize for the difficulty in getting the movie across to you um, whenever that was uh, several days ago, but uh, I, ha I do have a stage version of the play. Now, understand that a movie is, is uh, filmed to be presented to an audience who's going to be watching a film. Um, a play is done and with, with the intent of performing live in front of an audience that's sitting right there in front of you. So, so there is a difference. And also, uh, the video quality is not as great as a movie because obviously you have the millions upon millions of dollars that are spent for a video production, whereas this is just a guy with a camera in the back of the theater. Uh, live theater is intended for people to watch in person. Um, and you should always do that. The, the experience is so much different than watching just a guy in the back with a video camera. But the quality of it isn't horrible. I, think you, I still think you get an idea of how this play is produced and get something out of it. Um, so I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller here so I can show you the rubric because what you're going to be doing is you are going to be reviewing a play. Um, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> here's what you do. This is the rubric that I will use to grade you with. But here are the things you need to do in your review. After you watch the play, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you will write five short paragraphs about the play for your review. Uh, in the first paragraph, you will describe what you saw on stage. You should also also give context for the play such as the playwright or composer of the play and where the play is being staged. Um, I will give you that information so you can include it. Um, in paragraph two, you'll briefly summarize the plot of the play. In paragraph three, you will discuss the acting and directing and give your opinions. React to the performers playing the various characters in the play and what you thought about their performances and the directing uh, of the play. In paragraph four, you will describe the design elements of the production, things like lighting, sound, costumes, makeup, set, and props. All those elements go into it. Describe and give your opinion on what you thought of those different elements. In paragraph five, you will react to the play as a whole. Uh, you will either recommend the play to potential audience members, or you will say you didn't like it and you don't recommend it, um, and give it some sort of star rating like five star if it's great, three stars if it's okay, so forth and so on. Or you can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down rating. Just give it some kind of rating. And then the last thing, uh, oh, well, actually, this is, I'll be grading you. These, these are the five paragraphs, and this is what I'll be looking at to see if your writing of all these things, all these paragraphs put together, if it flows, if it's thorough, and if it is interesting, okay? So this is the rubric that you will use when you write a review of the play Hairspray. That you're going to be watching. Um, this is just another copy of it down here at the bottom, so you don't have to pay any attention to that. But I wanted you to have this so you can use it as a guideline for what needs to be contained in each paragraph as you're writing your review. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoy Hairspray. It's a production from Theater Tuscaloosa in 2014, and I want you to see if you recognize the guy who plays Wilbur, uh, Tracy's dad, in the production. Thanks, and enjoy.